Picnic area. Hi, Dolph. Hello there. What's going on? Not much. Huh? Where you been? Up top of the hill. What's up there? Not much. Not much, huh? What kind of a bike you got here? Uh, is this something new? Yeah, it's a sawtooth. A sawtooth? What the hell are these things over here? Folks. What the hell are they for? I forbid you should bust them. Yeah, replace one? <laughs> what is this over here? Speedometer. Speedometer? How many miles you got on it? Oh my god, 56 miles. Oh, 566 miles. Oh. Oh, 56 and 6 tenths miles. That's great. It's a nice color green, made by Scott. Are these the people who make the uh, ski goggles and the ski poles? That's right. No kidding. God almighty, what a bike that is. Hmm. It's a fantastic bike. It really is. Yep. I want to see what's on his other side. Oh, he got a bottle of water. Oh, very nice. Cantilever, center pull cantilever, brakes front and back. Oh, yeah. I see that. You get the brakes adjusted okay and you're checking the clearance. Looks good. Very good. Very good bike. I'll give a good whistle on that one. <laughs> Is that pretty good? Why don't we go sit over here and I'll meet you over there in a couple of minutes. Showing this thing at the Onondaga Ski Club. That's right. What's what's nice about it is that uh, you can push the button and get in, into the movie. But I do have a cord that I can plug into the camera and start stop it from sitting here. And it's on record. I got it on the fast on the fast mode. It's the fast mode is the EP mode. And uh, what that does is uh, it the tape only will go for 20 minutes. But if I put it in the LP mode. Board, go for one hour. Okay, now why they do they have those two modes, I don't know, but uh, I don't really see much difference between either mode. In the EP mode, you can't use stop action on the VCR. It only works in the uh, ESP mode. But why the two modes on there? I mean, why uh, my VCR had three modes, but the, why, uh, the camera, does it give it a better quality with the faster mode as opposed to the slower mode? Supposedly, it gives you better quality with the slower mode, uh, slower mode, but uh, in my VCR, I can't tell any difference between the two of them. Yeah. Well, I, I've gone to... I, uh, I might get better sound. Or, you know, I don't music. know about the sound. Now, this this is a new mic made by Sima, and it's got a uh, AA battery in it, and it's got a switch on it. You must have turned the switch on it, or you don't, re or you don't get record any sound. You plug it into the camera, it, it deactivates the microphone that's on the camera. But uh, I would think that uh, this microphone is what they call a zoom microphone. So uh, I would say maybe up to 40 feet away, it could pick up noise or sound. I've never tried it that far. But I do own a wireless microphone system that goes up to, how far is 20 meters? About 100 feet? 20 meters. 60 feet. You know, it'll go about 100 feet. Yeah, 60 feet. But, uh, actually, actually, probably 50 feet. 50 feet. Well, we're going to do. My daughter's getting married next month, and we're going to have both her, the priest, and the bridegroom wired. I've got three uh, lavaliers, you know, for the pin on, and uh, indiscreet location on the, on the dress and tuxedos and priest robe. So the camera will be different. I don't know how far the camera will be away, but anyway, they'll be able to record all three of them. And, uh, my 
son-in-law is going to operate the camera. The camera. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see that. But I, about the middle of May, we went to a wedding out to Aisakis, and I knew Mary Ann, who was getting married in September, and made her an honor for her best girlfriend. And her father called me up an hour before the ceremony. He says, we have a photographer coming to the wedding, but the VCR guy got sick and could not come. He says, I understand you have a camera. Would you mind taking the videotape of the wedding, the complete wedding. I said, I'm not a mere professional at it. I've never done one. I said, do it anyway. So I took the camera, uh, handheld it. And I was amazed, not only during the wedding ceremony, but also at the reception, how nice it came out. And I made some copies for them. And uh, it's amazing how the thing works. This also has a backlighting feature. You know what that does? If you're safe, let's say you have a window behind you. There's a lot of light coming through the window. You hit this back lighting thing, and you will be, I think it opens the lens up one or two steps more automatically than that does. So you get more light and more exposure on your face and frontal area. But this bike riding's been a good blessing this summer. I gotta have a swift swallow some water. It's funny you don't have any water up there in the pilots up there. I don't think so. There's a sign up there. I don't think it's probably not. It's been tested, but not tested safe for human consumption, possibly, is what it is. It's amazing. I wonder if the, uh, I've seen people here when I'm bike riding, when I'm bike riding here, uh, fishing, but I ain't never seen anybody up there at all. Every time I've been up there on picnics and things like that. I don't think 99% of the people know it exists. Yeah, I know. It's a, this is a county park, right? Oh, state park. Oh, state park? Is that what that is? Is, is the bike trail or the bike path uh, a state yeah. park system or is it the county or the state? state. So how are your knees? I sit here much longer, they ain't going to be working. Ah. Why is that? It, uh, it's stiff. It's stiff? Hey, what's that hatch you got? It says 28, that many years already, NCHA yeah. convention in Highland, Michigan. Where's Highland, Michigan located? Let's see that hat a minute. That's pretty nice. That's a Flynn. Oh, Flint, right near there. See this little thing you got there. You bought that pin too, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty nice, though. Well, you're getting ready for the ski season. Yeah. What's new at Tagenberg? Anything new? Yeah, we're getting ready to go. Oh, are you? Oh, good. Mount Tremblant, did I tell you that Mount Tremblant's installing a new high speed detachable quad chair? Isn't that going to be nice? Hey, you think you might want to go back up in uh, November at all? What do you worry about that for? <laughs> you know, life is so short. You know what Ed Bristol always says? Can't take it with no, he doesn't say that. No story. Yeah, he says that, but there's one other thing he says. You know what that is? He says, money has no value unless you use it. I say that too. Do you? You stay right there for a minute. Well, Dolph, I think we better get ready to hit the trail. And uh, did you see my bike right over there? Mine's a, mine's a LL Bean bike. It's 18-speed, uh, and I had the SIS system installed on it. And it's pretty nice. So all good things have got to come to an end. What is that, Dove? Let me leave the camera on a minute and we'll go take a look at that, okay?
got to be some kind of a tension adjustment, I would think. That's got a lot of tension on it. Know that? Yeah. Well, I thought it was nice. Yeah. I think the tension on those things flop right back. Yes. Why don't you bring your bike over a little closer here? We'll take a good look at it. Right close. I'll tell you where to stop. Okay. That's a nice bike, Dolph. Okay, let's get the show on the road. Okay.